Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and I finally got my invitation from Google to test out the Inbox app, and uh, pretty interesting. The first thing that you do is you're gonna get an invite, and the invitation is gonna congratulate you, and it's gonna give you two links: one link to go to the Google Play Store, I believe, and one to the App Store. Uh, I'm actually testing it out on my iPhone device. Uh, right now, you guys are able to download the Inbox app with no problem. Again, it's free, but the problem is, is that when you guys email uh, the invitation team from Google, whatever email address you use is the one that's going to be hardwired for you to log into the Inbox app. So if you guys are using another email address, it's not going to work out, or if you download it free and try to use your regular Gmail account, it's not going to work. So when you actually download it and you log into your account you're gonna get this it's gonna say add your own reminders to the top of your inbox that's pretty cool uh, you swipe it to the side it basically gives you a rundown of how to snooze stuff which I'm gonna show you guys about the snoozing because it gives you different options and that's pretty interesting uh, the next one is uh, I like this because it looks like the app gets a little smart now the inbox highlights what's more important to you and not worry about the, all the nonsense stuff that you don't worry about in your inbox and last but not least again all the less important stuff inside your inbox gets bundled up such like promos and stuff like that which I'm gonna show you because I have a lot of stuff that's bundled up that's not really important so let's get into the app so I'm gonna launch it up and the first time I saw it it was a little bit intimidating but you know what you just gotta get used to it you gotta play around with it uh, I'm, I'm kinda hesitant of actually going into the web GUI part of it because I don't know I'm still trying to get used to the iPhone part so if you guys are testing out the web GUI part of the new inbox hey let me know at the comment section so as you as you can see I have I have promos promos is bundled up is one of those least important things that I hardly look at and but when I do I just delete it but uh, let's click on it and when you guys click on it the best thing is if you're getting used to the app anything that you click is basically going to give you a nice tool tip like I, like right here I, I clicked on promos and as promos is bundled up it says promos includes marketing emails such as deals and offers and is bundled into your inbox and I'm saying I got it because I understand that and then from here you're able to you know swipe if you swipe to all the way to the left this is when you get the snooze until tomorrow uh, next week someday you you can actually pick a day and a time or you can actually pick a day so when you hit like if you go to target and as soon as you reach target you get a reminder saying hey this is the this is a special offer email that you receive use it up once you get to target so that's pretty cool now if you swipe it to the right you're gonna get a check mark the check mark basically identifies that it's marked done now the mark done I don't know if it actually marks it as unread or places it inside the archive folder which I'm still playing around with that um, if you need to type an email the big plus sign which is a little bit uh, the design looks a little bit more like the Google Plus stuff right you hit the big plus sign and from the plus sign it gives you uh, your basic or your most used emails that you use in the past like I've been emailing these particular people all the time so those are like my my quick picks if not you could basically just compose and you start typing in and you're good to go now one of the things that I noticed about the new inbox is that you're able to attach a uh, picture uh, it looks like you're not able to attach a PDF uh, if you create a PDF I don't know how you're gonna actually navigate to it but it looks like it only attaches photos for now so I'm kind of wondering if Google is going to advance that a little bit more into like PDFs and Word documents, right? And uh, from there, that's it. That is how you create a rundown. Again, uh, as you probably noticed that I have invite to inbox. So I, I actually can send out three invites. But if you guys are interested in the invites, leave a comment below. Um, one of the things I did notice, if you have a bundle, if you just you can't really do nothing to the bundle other than just go all the way to the right you can mark them all done in one shot so if I do all the way to the right more than 25 messages would be infected so it's really up to you if you really want to hit all the promos at the same time but sometimes there's a particular email that you want to test out or read or do something with it you don't want to do that 
You can't do anything to the left. So as you can see, nothing happens to the left. I do like the fact if, you know, this is my YouTube account. And within my YouTube account, I'm actually able to see the the videos that someone comment so I can understand, oh, okay, that's the video, right? That's the video that's that's happening. Uh, they break everything down into particular letters. I'm still trying to understand what the letters mean. Uh, I think the letters basically are the, the first initial of the person that's emailing me. And if you guys need to delete anything, I believe if you just hit the letter of the, of the email, as you can see, you're able to pin it. If you pin it, what's gonna happen is gonna put it at, it's gonna like highlight it. Uh, you're able to snooze it, uh, check it to undone it, and if you hit the drop down, you could be able to put it to the trash, spam, or if you're a person like me, you got a folder, drop it into your folder. Uh, they actually gave you predefined bundles in your inbox, which is travel, purchase, finance, social, updates, forwardings, and promos. Uh, I'm gonna ex exit out that. Uh, the pin feature, which is kind of interesting to me, so I want to ping this in one pin. So I think the pin, if you check this off from the top, you're able to see whatever you, whatever is important to you, you want to pin it, right? Because that's the first thing that you want to catch. I'm, I'm assuming that's the concept of this. And but then you just do that. It'd be pretty cool if you're able to swipe all the way down and just see the pin. What I did notice so far is that uh, I don't receive my emails, I don't get a notification regardless I went inside the settings and told it to alert me. I don't get the alerts all the time, which is pretty strange. Uh, if you hit the three little bars right here, it gives you a rundown of your, um, all your inbox, all the folders that you created and all that stuff. Uh, the settings options, is not too much of settings. If you go to Google Apps, it gives you a rundown of what you can install, all the Google Apps that Google supports. So overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy and I don't know, I, I have to really start using it a little bit more for me to get accustomed to it. But other than that, I want to know what you guys think about the new inbox from Google. Leave your comments right below. Also, leave your comments as well below if you are interested in getting uh, the inbox app on your phone I will send you an invite uh, again I will choose three random people and I will tweet it out and I shoot you guys um, whoever wins the invites right uh, hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one peace out